Hey everyone, so I know I haven't done a video in a long time. Well, I did one the other day about my birthday. Um, but I finished my book. I don't know if you guys remember what I was reading, but I was reading Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Can I just say, oh my god. Like, did not know that that was going to happen in the end. Like, full on huge twist. Like, I know I'm really late on the train for Delirium. Like, everyone has already read it, so I'm not going to do, like, a huge review on it. But, oh my god! Like, I don't know whether, like, I just haven't been, like, in the book place, and I so I didn't know that this was out. But I'm so mad that I just now read this. And I can't wait before I wait to read Before I Fall by her. And I want Pandemonium by her. Like, she's become like, one of my favorite authors, like, this book was amazing, um, yeah, there were some part parts in here where it kind of dragged on a little bit, um, and it's, like, I would read, like, a chapter, and, like, it seems like nothing, it set, like, seemed like nothing really happened, but other than that, what actually happened in the book was really, really good, there was a lot of twists in it that I really didn't think about, um, I'm sure everyone has already read this, so I'm, spoiler alert, just in case you guys, like, haven't read it, even though I'm sure everyone already has. Um, the only one twist that I did get, um, was that her mom was still alive. That, I kind of figured. I was like, she's gonna have a twist in it, because, like, authors always have a twist. What could be the twist? And so I was like, her mom's alive. Um... Especially the way she wrote it, um, it was kind of like, sorry, it was kind of like she told what happened before it actually happened, so, um, I look, like, really bad right now, like, really bad, okay, um, so, like, you knew what was gonna happen before it happened, um, and I think the scene where they go into Ward 6 and they're talking to, I think his name was Frank, um, that dragged on a lot for me. It's like, we knew they were going to get in there. Like, it's kind of like when you watch movies and you're like, well, the movie has to end good because you know the characters in the next movie. Um, so like, you knew that they would get in there because that's the whole point of the story. Um, so that scene dragged on a little bit for me. Um, but at the end, when he... Like, when she looks back and he's not there, like, I started crying. I called one of my friends and I was bawling my eyes out because I was like, this book is so sad. Like, it's, it has a lot of good morals in it and I really like it. Um, as I was going, as I was reading this book, a lot was happening in my personal life. And, um, I kind of like, as I was reading it, I was like, I wish that was me. I wish that I had a cure and I couldn't have emotions for the rest of my life. Like, just because of, like, what was happening in my real life. But, such a good book. Um, if you don't know about the book, um, which you should. Like, I shouldn't even have to, like, say anything to you. But, um... Oh, God, what is her name? I just finished... Lena, there we go. Because <laughs> they don't say her name a lot. Um, if you don't know the, what the book is about, there's it's dystopian. Um, it's kind of like another world where love is a disease. Um, hold on. Um, that love is the disease, it's called Amor Deliria Nervosa, um, which is where delirium comes in, um, and they live in this world that once you turn, I believe it was 18, um, you get a, you get the cure, um, and it's like a, a scar, um, and they cure you of the disease, and, um, for the rest of your life, you can't get the disease, like, you don't, can't feel love, you can't, um, you can get emotions, but not, like, too emotional, um, and her mom, Lena, uh, her mom had the disease, 
and she was fully in love with her father and fully in love with her kids and did all this stuff and um was i believe she they told lena she was going in for her fourth time to get cured because it never worked on her and they had kept her in kind of like an insane asylum kind of um and she didn't know that she thought her mom had committed suicide um and so she was so excited to get the cure because she didn't want to go through what her mom went through um and so she was so excited to get the cure um her best friend hannah was kind of the same as her and then she figured out that hannah had like this secret life of going to parties and listening to music that she wasn't supposed to and um lena kind of started getting into that she was very hesitant at first and then she met this boy named alex um which told her that he was cured but he was not um he actually made the scars by himself so that everyone would think he was cured but he was actually from the wilds um which is outside of their community and it uh, it's like a group of people called the invalids, which um, have the disease and they don't want to get cured. Um, and so she meets Alex and Alex and her potentially, um, it takes a while, but sh they potentially fall in love. Um, and then she doesn't want to get cured and a whole bunch of things happen. Um, I don't want to get too into it. That's like the biggest like part of it because I'm sure everyone has read it. So it's not like I'm giving anything away. Um, but such a good book. I would give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars, um, just because there were little moments where it did lag. Um, there were a couple characters I didn't really like. I didn't, um, one of the, one of the big things I didn't like was Gracie, or was her name just Grace? Maybe it's just Grace. Um, her little sister, she didn't talk. Um, and they didn't really talk about why she didn't talk. And then at the end, um, Grace is the one that actually helps her escape. And in order to help her escape, Grace talks and just says, wait. But then that's all she says. And you don't get any interaction between Grace and Carol, which is her aunt and stuff like that. And so it was kind of just like, it either didn't have to be written in or it should have been written about more. Um, that was my biggest thing. And then, of course, it was a little slow in some parts. Um, but other than that, great. I absolutely loved her writing style. I loved how she explained every, well, almost explained everything. Um, especially because it is dystopian and it's a, uh, in, like, a different world. You have to get that kind of a thing. Um, but yes, 4.5 stars out of, or 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I recommend this to anybody. Um, especially if you're po like possibly going through something that like you hate love read this book it will get you over why you hate love and then love get you to love love again um but yeah great great book and again it's delirium by or lauren oliver and what i'm reading next um because this was such not a heavy book but it was like intense kind of um, I'm going to read, because I still have this series and then another series um, from the library that I have to read. And so I'm going to read this one because it's very light. I'm already on chapter like four and I started it last night and I only read it for like ten minutes. Um, and it's Lauren Conrad's books, um, the L.A. Candy series. The first one is L.A. Candy. Um, and so I'm reading that. Oh, I'm on chapter three. Sorry, not four. Um, but it's a really easy book, very small um, and it's a three book series. Well, she's coming out with a new book now, but I'm not sure if the new book is the fourth book to the series or it's just another book. But this is the first one. It's L.A. Candy by Lauren Conrad. The second one is Pretty Little Lies by Lauren Conrad. And then the third one is Sugar and Spice. Um, so I'm going to read these three. Um, I will probably do little reviews on each book individually as I read them, and then I will do a big review on all three books all together. Um, I know a lot of people probably won't read these because they're kind of like, not really, well, they're girly books, but they're not really like intense or like an actual like read read. But I wanted to read them because I really do love Lauren Conrad. She's so pretty. Like, look at like that picture and then that picture. And then is she on the back of this one? Yeah. 
that picture. Like, I just, she's so pretty. I loved her in the series that she did. Um, so I'm excited to read those. It's going to be kind of like a, just a quick read to get delirium off my mind because I'm so like, uh, um, but yeah, so I hope you liked the review. Um, if you have any questions, um, oh, and I would do an, uh, April to be read pile, but a lot of the times I will say that I'm going to read something and then I don't read it and I read something else. Um, so all I can really say that I'm going to be reading this month is this series. Um, and then I'm going to be starting this series, the Thirst series. I have all four books from the library. Um, so I'm going to be reading these books. There's one through four. But then I also have this one from the library, which is Pregnant Pause by Han Nolan. Um, so I might be reading this possibly in between the series. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um... But yeah, so I will talk to you guys later and enjoy reading. Peace.